Here he is. Say, say a few words. Harvey Weinstein won fame, fortune, and Academy Awards by being one of Hollywood's most daring film producers. But within days of a New York Times report chronicling his alleged misconduct with women, Weinstein was fired by the company that bears his name. Weinstein issued a blanket apology for his behavior. Since then, more women have come forward to recount their experiences with Weinstein, all of them unpleasant. And he immediately um, exposed himself and I, you know, began pleasuring himself, and I just stood there dumbfounded. The scandal has shown the spotlight on what used to be known in Hollywood as the casting couch, where powerful figures exploited those below them in the industry. Many of Hollywood's biggest names have remained silent since the scandal broke, but Meryl Streep was among the first of the industry's elite to condemn Weinstein's long rumored offenses, saying the behavior is inexcusable but the abuse of power familiar. The women of Hollywood are not alone. More and more women in the U.S. media are coming forward with their own stories of abuse. One woman who successfully sued Fox News over alleged harassment by the company's top executive says it's because of a wall of silence. I think that we find strength in numbers, so if we knew that it was happening to more than just one person, probably more of us would speak up. But in Silicon Valley this year, several high-profile executives, including the CEO of Uber, Trevor Kalanick, have been either fired, resigned, or apologized for harassing or tolerating sexual harassment. More companies have been cracking down on such behavior, and not only in fear of legal penalties. When we talk about what's appropriate in terms of reputational risk, you know, these allegations of harassment are very serious and can hurt that. Back in Hollywood, another of Weinstein's alleged victims calling on women in the industry to act against what she called a misogynistic power structure that needs to be brought down. Tom Ackerman, Al Jazeera.